Um, in the interest of time, members, we are keeping the quiz um, at the last, uh, at the, after the panel discussion. So let me have a quick introduction um, of the next speaker. Um, one second. Uh, Mr. Srinivasan Sampat is acting chief technology officer. Um, he's the, uh, at our first Abu Dhabi bank. Sampat has the responsibility for driving the group's technology and transformation strategy to ensure that the FAD is ready for the next generation of digital banking services. In the recent years, Sampat has been involved in leading digitalization programs covering end-to-end -end digital customer experience and process automation. Uh, Sampath has more than 25 years of experience in the banking industry. Sampath holds ACIB from Institute of Financial Services UK and BSc from Manchester University. May I please call upon sir on the stage. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. And I know that uh, time is 1.30 and everybody is hungry to grab some food, uh, it, it will not be very, you know, far that, uh, you know, some one of the digital devices will de detect your hunger and then probably pass some protein and fat into your stomach to make sure that you are not feeling hungry. Uh, it, it gives me great uh, honor and privilege to share my thoughts today uh, with the, on the foundation of the Abu Dhabi uh, CA chapter. So we'll go, go through some, uh, some content uh, which I have prepared from what is going to be the digital influence uh, going to be in the next three to five years and uh, you know after that we can probably take some questions. So if you look at the chart here in terms of the internet adoption over the past you know 10 years, so it has been exponentially increasing and it's going to continue to increase, right? So if you see the data as of January 2022, it is 4.9 billion and this already September it's reached 5.6 billion. So more and more the internet adoption is going to increase and especially the youth are more attached to the digital internet related activities rather than any sort of physical activities, right? And if you look at the social media adoption, it's also at 4.6 billion. And I'm sure that all of us in this room are somehow connected either to WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook or I mean, if you talk about the youth population, they are in Spotify, Snapchat, WeChat, so many other sort of you know social media activities everybody is connected to social media and today there's no one uh, no one who's not connected to social media and especially with the covid situation i think all of us are more attached to zoom and uh, microsoft teams and it's surprising that you know if you want to talk to your uh, you know uh, parents who are back home you know 80 years old 85 years old they are all very much connected to talking to you through zoom talking to you through Skype or so many other things. So that's the way in which the digital influence of the social media is being impacting all of us. Now, if you look at what is going to be the future, how digital is going to influence, there are five, there might be many of those things, but importantly, there are five things which is going to drive going forward, how the digital adoption or the how to do business in the digital way is going to change. The first is how do we generate new sources of economic value? You need to definitely continue to look at how through digital you can create new sources of economic value. You know, if some of you might have heard that, you know, several years back, the, you know, CEO of Barclays said that I will be a technology organization, not a banking organization, right? That's the influence of digital and technology on any business that you are running in. So how do you create new sources of economic value? Then how do we extend market reach via digital business ecosystems? Because our ecosystem is going to be continuously digital. Now, whether you are aware or not, when you visit a shopping mall or when you visit an you know, airport or any other places, somewhere or other, there is something which you need to interact digitally. You cannot avoid digitally. Like for example, if you now you know, cross through the, any of the airports, it's completely, you just need to go through an eye scanning or biometric scanning. You are no more going into an immigration office to stamp your passport unless and until it's not working. So wherever you go, you are going to be somehow touched by some sort of a digital sort of an activity that you need to do. And then engage with new machine customer markets because the missions which we are dealing with now, they will turn into a customer on its own. 
right? It might not be a very dumb machine which is going to either you know give you a coffee vending machine or a Pepsi vending machine or whatever. It will become a customer on its own. When I become a customer on its own, it will start interacting with you, and the businesses who are running this has to treat it as a customer, right? And then develop digitally native organizations. As I told you, that Barclays announced that it will become a technology organization. Like that, every organization has to look at how the organization can be turned into digital-based business. So, if you are not going to turn your organization into a digital-based business, definitely you are going to be left behind. And we'll see what is the influence of digitization in in respective business across various industries. It's not only you know restricted to either a financial industry or a manufacturing industry. It is going to touch every industry. And then finally, how to connect new digital infrastructures because you have IOTs. And I don't know whether any one of you visited the you know JITEX which happened a couple of weeks back. You can see the digital technology and the advancement that is coming in across various industries, which was, you know, demonstrated in the JITEX across various. And especially, you will be so happy to see that the UAE government has highest adoption of the digital-related activities. If you have visited the stall of over Etisalat or a Diva or an, you know, uh, any of the governmental entities across the Emirates, the digital adoption has been has been at its highest peak. And you know, being in UAE, basically the other industries are pressurized by the way in which the acceleration of digital influence is being made by the governmental sectors. So we have to be always in the forefront in terms of how do we convert our digital models into digital-based infrastructures. Just to look at some of the numbers, because you know, all high intellectual in this room who have been churning out numbers on a daily basis. Uh, for very large organizations, I think numbers will sometimes excite. So this is how, if you look at you know the five themes which we look at generate new sources of income, the digital assets used by the new economic factors will increase the overall GDP by almost US dollar 182 trillion. You know, this is the forecast which is being made by you know various research across the world that the new sources of economic value, you need to find new sources of economic value in your business and that is going to drive the global GDP by almost 182 trillion. And you will extend market riches via digital ecosystems because you know the centralized digital business ecosystem will command almost 75% of all your commercial flows, right? Today everything is you know straight through processing because manual processing and manual document looking at documentation has completely come down. So you, you need to look at your business and the commercial flows not only from within your organization how we are going to adapt with the ecosystem across the organization, you know, across the value chain because the value chain is going to be digitized. Nobody wants to share you know physical documents anymore. You need to electronically share documents with people. You are. You have to electronically validate document with the other partners which you are working with. So centralized business ecosystem will command at least 75% of all your commercial flows that happen. And then I talked about mission, right? Digital revenues from the mission customer based brokerage services exceed over 100 million. This is each of the machines will drive generating revenue on their own. They are not going to be any more dumb vending machines. It's going to generate revenue on its own. And that is a big forecast over the next three to four years. Each and every vending machine will turn into a different sort of a machinery that you are going to use. You know, and we are going to see this very soon. And I talked about digitally native organizations. Every organization has to look at how their decisions are going to be driven by digital adoption of various technologies. The enterprise making decision has to be will be controlled by various algorithms and that will achieve at least a 15 to 20 percent increase in revenue because artificial intelligence and intelligent automation is one of the things which every organization has to adapt because that brings in accuracy that gives you opportunity to churn large amount of data in a very faster period of time and then it gives an accuracy of decision that you make in your boardrooms. Because in your boardrooms, all simulation and flows which we used to do using all Excel sheets, I think I don't present that earlier that 10,000 Excel sheets are being used. 
because finance professionals are very attached to going through an excel sheet it's like having a morning coffee right south indian people if they don't have if they don't have filter coffee in the morning their their day doesn't go at all so it's something like a habit they need to do in the same way finance professionals are so attached to excel sheet if they don't turn their numbers you say excel sheet something there is something is missing there is something they are not able to do so you know all this trend will change so your board room decisions will be driven by lot of ai algorithms and you will be able to on the fly simulate a situation based on your business you know needs and forecast and this will drive at least 15 to 20% increase in your revenue and finally i think we are all talking about space right space travel has become such an easy one now right just the people travel to the space for few minutes and then come back and that's going to become much and more much and much and more simpler it's going to become a commodity in the next few years like how we are you know the uh, travel using our craft has become very common commodity now nobody feels that it's some sophisticated thing that we need to do uh, of course during the covid situation all of us were stuck by travel and consultants have learned that they can do still business without traveling right so almost two years none of the consultants were able to travel any place but still business went on happening so space travel will become a huge industry and its net worth is expected to be more than 1.4 us dollar 1.4 trillion us dollars and you know many of you who are involved in the supply chain which we speak spoke about earlier trade activities will be driven by lot of blockchain network right between your custom to clearance to you know the bank to customer to beneficiary corporates everyone it is going to be an complete end to end blockchain it's not only going to be driven within an you know country it's going to be across geographies and many use cases have been tried using blockchain and it's going to really accelerate the way in which the trade business is going to be done so blockchain will drive the future in terms of complete end to end trade business and it is more secure more reliable and less proven for fraud because lot of invoices which is being currently manually managed and fraudulently produced are all going to be controlled by using the blockchain technology so what about financial services banking and investment what's going to happen i spoke about ai ai will drive the financial services organization i'm sure many of you deepak spoke about the market so much now it is all robots right robot trader is very common now right every all civil youth which is coming out of the college is writing robot traders right you have robots now trading for you you don't need to even think whether my us stock is going down or the asian stock is going up or whatever robo will churn you know uh, amounts of data and then automatically take decision for you where to invest where to divest and where you don't need to do so that's not very far today robo trader is a very common phenomenon but it is going to actually touch in the lives of each and every person who wants to invest in the equity or stock markets so automatic sales form will drive basic form i think you spoke about robo advisors and 60% of large organizations will use privacy enhancing computation which in that your computation will become more personal based it will become more situation based it's no more a general computation right each and every single person based on the way in which he is doing his life the computation will be based on that which means the financial services will be able to offer products and services much more specific to a customer and to make value to a customer so this will significantly increase in the next 3 to 5 years metaverse i think i don't know how many of you again you know visited the metaverse metaverse uh, space uh, during the jitex global metaverse will change the way in which you are going to do your shopping do your life like sitting at home you can virtually visit either dubai mall or abu dhabi mall or any mall walk into a shop look at the you know product that you want either it is going to be a you know suit that you are going to buy or you are going to any other ladies garments you wants to buy you can just visit virtually probably you can do a trial virtually and then say that whether it fits you or not and then place an order online you don't even need to go and visit your so you don't need to search for parking 
you don't need to see that it is too much crowded whether i am going to be you know infected by covid because so much of crowd is there you don't need to wear a mask and go there you can just virtually visit any mall try what you want and then place an order and come back and today the metaverse learn land is more costlier than any land you want to buy in any part of the world if you want to buy a metaverse land and you want to build your building in terms of you know showcasing all your features in the organization land of metaverse is much more expensive and the way how it is expensive is it details that if you want to take a corner part of a land that is more expensive than a land which you want to take probably on the middle and if you want to find where is the highest footfall where people might come in the cost of the land there is much expensive than where it is inside so now you know all the malls have started building their you know spaces in metaverse right and somebody i think was there from accenture is here accenture is converting all their onboarding of all their employees using metaverse you know their training their interaction with their managers everything is using metaverse so they don't need to physically any part of the world you are there you can interact with your pioneers financial services organization your customer is going to interact with your rm using metaverse it's like he is coming to the branch sitting across the table of an rm and then engaging a discussion right now it has gone to such an extent today that if you are visiting a mall and then see that you want to try something let's say i have seen a nike shoe or i want a you know seen a reebok shoe what you can do is basically you have your own you know form in the metaverse you can borrow that for 5 to 10 dollars on the on the shoe which you prefer so you put yourself on your image that shoe walk across the mall and see that whether it fits you come back and give it and come back right that's the way you know metaverse is going to change the world it probably might make us more and more lazy uh, but that's the way things are going to metaverse is going to basically you know influence have an influence of lot the way in which we live our life so industries that will have a major impact on digital acceleration is i touched upon you know financial services there are many many use cases and financial services will completely be end to end digitized starting from interacting with customers to back office operations to financials to today so much of algorithm is being done for tracking frauds you know models are being built digitally the way in which they churn out is absolutely amazing there is no way it can be done in any other form healthcare will go through a huge amount of change from a digital influence perspective many of the surgeries will become you know digitally done it will be done by robots it's not going to be physically done by any of the surgeons anymore many of the surgeries is going to be done by robots and the and the benefit of it is basically the accuracy in which the surgery is being done and the time to recover is is going to be very fast now i have seen some of my you know friends who have gone through a surgery and who have gone through this some of robotics involvement is that the time to recover is just 24 hours because you, there is no more a cut for you. you the cut doesn't need to heal and there is no risk that is while you are doing the cut is any other part get impacted or not so the robot is so accurate so you can surgeries are going to be you know manufacturing industry of course most of the manufacturing now done by robots but that is going to significantly increase in terms of you know influencing through digital technologies the manufacturing is going to happen and also the consumer as i told about spoke about metaverse and i just want to share an example you know i just visited uh, us couple of months back uh, and i i had an airbnb you know facility for us to go and say stay so we are going to probably you know land at around midnight so i was just you know uh, messaging the airbnb owner saying that how do we collect the keys so he said you don't need to collect the key you have mobile i said yes i have mobile so see your mobile will unlock the door you don't need any key so i said how come i was scared because landing at midnight and if doesn't work where will you go right i was a little bit concerned then he said no don't worry nothing you just download this app go near the door and then using the app just you know press this it will get unlocked so my you know my telephone was automatically linked to the airbnb account and then that account has automatically linked to the mobile application and then I, when we went there to the airbnb i just need to use the app and it says unlock and the door is unlocked you go in 
and then when you come out you just lock and come out that's all there is no more physical keys you don't physically see the person who is owning the facility and everything is done digitally and there is no human interaction at all and it became much more easier so you check in and check out on your own there is no involvement there is nothing intra human interaction at all and another interesting story i want to you know share before i close this is i met a you know youth three weeks back uh, here in one of the conference he's just 24 years old and he was just talking to everyone and he also received an fintech award and the word is basically he said that i will be able to treat your neck pain or back pain just using my app so i asked him how can you do it how do you collect data he said nothing my app will read your emotions from your face right it will collect data from the emotions from your face based on your emotions he will he will say it will tell that this is how you need to treat get treated or it will suggest you some sort of a physical postures and yogas or asanas which will help you to cure the back pain and neck pain and the guy got an award it's just 24 years old this is how the digital influence will come to us in our life so thank you very much for giving your opportunity before we conclude as leaders what we, we must do you, you should remain current to the digital transformation capabilities impact in the industry please gain a clear understanding of both opportunities present for your enterprise and then just what we need to do is just we have to in the board room discuss how the business will be shaped around the digital change that's happening across the world thank you very much thank for the opportunity i hope i was able to share some thoughts thank you i don't know whether is there any time for any questions in the rawas you are talking about so i think it will go through this period of because everybody is now in the in the process of getting into metaverse it's like the 20, 2006 where the you know real estate market in the, in uae was at its peak and then in 2008 it just crashed and leveled up in the same way now it is a sort of a hype if i can say because everybody wants to show that metaverse experience right they want to grab the land so that's why it is it is being there now there are only few providers who are selling this land i'm sure it will keep increasing it will be, it will become like a technology commodity like you know earlier you know certain softwares used to be provided only by certain providers now it's available across everyone and fintechs is just embracing the market no just taking the market all over in the same way i think over a period of time metaverse also will become a commodity which is being offered by everyone Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. In the interest of time, we will not be taking any more questions. The questions could be asked during the break. Um, sir, on behalf of ICI Abu Dhabi chapter, we would like to thank you for an excellent presentation, sir. You showed how the business would be there in the future. You connected digital, AI, blockchain, everything, and how important it would be for a business to grow in terms of revenue and presence. Thank you so so much for your presentation, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you uh, very much. For handing over the moment, also, can I please call upon Suresh Panwar, sir, past chairman, ICI Abu Dhabi chapter, and Mohammad Shafi, committee member, ICI Abu Dhabi chapter, please on the stage. Our next uh, session is going to be a very interesting one. A panel discussion.